dinner is the cacio e pepe. Yes! Oh my god, my favorite! Hello and welcome to Dinner Views. I'm Matthew Francis. And this is essentially the show where I get to create a dream dinner for my fascinating friends here in Hollywood and then interview them about their life, their career, and their points of view on the world. Dinner plus interviews equals dinner views. Today is super special because it's the season two premiere, so of course I had to have someone incredible. This person grew in popularity from her time at BuzzFeed. She was a producer and then a development partner. She's been in a ton of hilarious videos, both scripted, unscripted. She even had her own shows called Am I Doing This Right? and an amazing podcast called Adult Shit. And since leaving BuzzFeed, she has really spread her wings. She's been able to dive deeper into comedy. She has her own merch. She's been a mental health advocate. And she has also had a show on E! And now she has her own podcast called Confidently Insecure. So go watch it after you finish this one. Here is Kelsey Dare. Oh my God, that intro was incredible. Thank you. Thank you, you are an incredible you. host. Hey, I try, you know. No, you don't even have to. It's so natural for you. First of all, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me on season two yeah. of Dinner Views. Yeah, I, I really want to like go, you know, big for wow. the first one. As big as my fake lips. Yeah, you know, I think, you know, it, look, it looks good. It looks like you're prim, prompt, thank you. you're ready to go. Yeah, yeah, no, I just got them done. Does so it you, hurt? Yeah, oh. you might have to feed me. Oh, okay, okay, I'll just like force feed <laughs> it in. You can't feel it, so. Yeah, um, okay, well, so the first thing we do here yes. is, of course, you don't get the food right away. I make you kind of work for it. Um, so we have like a game first, okay. but um, I gave like your kind of like career highlights <gasps> version, but I want you to kind of tell everyone, just like, give me like an abridged, personal life story of Kelsey like how did you get from like childhood to here but quick yeah so my parents boned I was born 1990 90s baby let's go uh, lived in Florida studied theater and TV film moved to Alabama hated that uh -huh. moved to New York City loved that lived in LA for 10 years started on YouTube doing sketches eventually got a job at BuzzFeed Kaplow. Yeah, yeah. Is that short enough? That was great and I really kind succinct. Of, I went a little too career. No, that's fine because we, we'll get into the personal. Okay, because yeah, my yeah. career, my personal life is sort of defined by how I'm doing in my career. I feel you. <laughs> um, thank you for kind of sharing that about Shut yourself. Shut up. I'm so glad to be here. Honestly, when you were like, can I cook for you and talk to you? I was like, bitch, say no more. This is my dream show. That's how I get friends. It's <laughs> just like bribing them with food. <laughs> Look, um, look, it's a good way to make friends as adults. It's hard. Yeah, because as an introvert, sometimes it's like, that's mm. all I have to offer. <laughs> hey, you know what? Who doesn't love a home-cooked meal? Okay, so the first like segment is called okay. Fast Food Favorites. Okay. Um, not, don't think like actual fast food, oh. but like as in like the game is fast. Okay. So you have one minute to pull <gasps> these out of the hat or out of the pot, I guess. And like, so it'll be like grain, right? You uh -huh. say your favorite grain that just pops in your head. Okay. And the goal is to get as many as you can because all the other guests <gasps> also competed in the same oh, game. Oh, shit. And you want to beat them. Are there really hard ones in here? No. Like papaya. Like, they're, just, they're just okay. like, um, um, like categories of food and you give what your favorite of that. Great. Right? Because okay. I think... Um, like your favorite foods really give like a yeah. you know, message of who you are. Well, yeah. I mean, when you asked what my favorite foods were, I'm sure you were disgusted. We'll get to that. <laughs> okay. Tell me when to start. Okay. I'm yeah, so I'm ready. Gonna put the clock on. You have one minute. And this, um, so the season two winner or season one winner was Jaleesa called She got 24. What? Yeah. So she had like a whole strategy. Like she's like, I watch. I'm ready to win. Oh and my god. She won, okay. So. No pressure. Okay. Uh, who's counting? I am. Okay. Or yeah. Okay. We'll count at the end? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Green. Um, uh, raisin bran. Does that count? Sure. <gasps> Seafood. Scallops. Ooh. Um, common salad. Ah, uh, let's go with a light Caesar. Okay. Burrito salad. Like beans. Easy. Uh, chocolate bar. Uh, cookies and cream Hershey's. Uh, fish. Halibut. Uh, dairy item. I don't eat dairy or I try not to, but if I do, then it's cheese. Ice cream, cookies and cream, herb, cilantro, uh, sandwich, ooh, pastrami from Green Blatt's, uh, vinegar, is there more than one? Yeah. Okay, the one you put in a salad with oil and vinegar, or the one from Subway. Got Smoothie, it. uh, celery, all celery. Nut from the dick, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I like pecans. Pasta shape, ooh, uh, I like a pavardelli. Okay. Um, 
Okay, pizza topping, pineapples, obvi. Mm. I know, controversial. Comfort wow. food, uh, okra, bagel, everything. Uh, rice, white on sushi, vegetable. Um, oh God, Brussels sprouts! Uh, that counts. <laughs> that was really good. Was it? I think you're gonna get like a really high oh score. Oh my God, okay. Should okay. I count with you? Yeah, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19! Okay, so I thought it was more, but that's Me still too. good. That's it still really good. It felt like more. It's, I, wow. I think that's like higher up. There's there. a lot in there. Yeah. Also, I don't know if I lied. It does okay. It's like, it doesn't matter what you okay. get right. It's like, what's know, your first thought? I can't remember what I said for nut, but I it's not pecan. Did I say pecan? Uh, Maybe I said no, you said, you said like a boyfriend, like or like a, a boy's, you know. Oh, nut. like a dick? That's um, funny. Um, that was Curly's favorite meat. Do you want me to put it back in? Yeah, put it back okay. in. We're all good to go. That so, was a fun game. Thank, thank you for challenging my beliefs. Right? I think it's like when you put someone's brain to that quick of a pace, like yeah. the truth comes out. I'm sad I didn't win. I like to be the winner of things. You know what? That just means you have to come back sometime and Oh, you know I fucking will. Okay, <laughs> um, okay, so that was fast food favorites. Amazing job. And my thoughts on that. Yeah. Um, I was really curious uh, for your sandwich. You said like a specific one from a... Ooh, what was pastrami from Green Black. Is that a place nearby? Yes, it's a place in Hollywood. Well, West Hollywood. And they just have this pastrami on rye and it's mustard that has like dirty mustard were you not wearing your mic this whole time no i'm an idiot yeah green blots is a is a like historic famous jewish yeah. deli yeah and it's delightful i've had many a drunken sammy there um and then there was also one other thing you said your favorite smoothie was celery and that's when i was like <laughs> okay i'm gonna back away i don't really know about okay. that one listen though i don't actually like it i like what it's done for my life I started oh. drinking celery juice every morning about three months ago, and it cured my hormonal acne. Oh, shit. And I found out about it from a guy called Medical Medium on Instagram, and he actually was just on Keeping Up with the Kardashians to try and help Kim Kardashian with her psoriasis. It didn't help. Anyways, I'm sad he went on the Kardashians, because now it makes him look like kind of woo-woo, fruity, like yeah, yeah. not very credible. But... For you, it worked. For me, it worked. Hey, that's all that really matters. Yeah. Um, okay, so cheers with water. Cheers. I've been drinking out of this. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why not? It's a glass. I don't know. I have, we have these cups. Oh, that was for the wine if we had one. <laughs> oh, okay. Kelsey's being good and not I'm drinking. I'm not drinking right now. Thank you so much. I'm a good person. When did you make that decision? Because, you know, you're kind of known for like a lot I of drinking, know. right? I yeah. definitely certainly am. Um, let's see. I've done 22 days or 25 days now. And I do this periodically just to make sure that I can yeah, yeah. and like kind of give my body a break. And as you know, Pride was recently and I went hard Got and I'm on Pride. Got and so it. after that, it was one of those like, okay, let me cleanse and I'm going to Burning Man this year. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to go all the way to Burning Man because Burning Man's supposed to be like a very like spiritual cleansing experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My friend Jess loves going there. I've never been. It's my first time. Oh, wow. Well, Which Jess do I Jess know? Jess Maroney from yeah. Bring Me. Yeah. Okay. Hippy Dippy. Oh, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah. I would guess her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That, um, I'm glad you're doing that. I think I should take a page out of your book and be better with not yeah? going too hardcore. Are you a wino? Uh, yeah. Like, that's why I have four right there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think we were going to drink four bottles? No, I just want to have options for okay. you. I Kelsey, like Kelsey, I'm a good host. Okay. You're, I, trust me. I've known that, <laughs> if anything, being here five minutes. So now our next um, segment is okay. actually we'll bring out some food for you. <gasps> Try. It's not all the food, but it's a okay. portion of the food. It's okay. Um, and hopefully, remind me to put the mic back. I want to get back I because will. I'll hold it because I take that? it on and off a lot, and I forget sometimes. Have you done this before? I, oh yeah. So okay. that's why I'm, I'm sure we'll this. be fine. I will be both Matthew and Kelsey. Welcome to Dinner Views. I'm Matthew, and I cook really well. My apartment's really cute, and I have the best cookware. I mean, my gosh! If you ever had to guess what to get, just ask me. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited! Okay. Oh. So, this segment is called What App? Oh my god, that's so, funny. So, while I ask you questions from different social media apps, we're going to enjoy an appetizer. Are you joking my ass? No, this, this, right is, this is real. So, you love deviled eggs, and I know you're not a huge <laughs> fan of salad, or at least on I, the internet. On the internet, I have made a lot of videos about how much I hate salad, and I'm trying to change my relationship with it, so yeah. I'm definitely going to try some of your salad, but Great. the fact that you put deviled eggs on a salad is yeah. blowing my god. GD mine right now. Yeah, the reason why I did it was because um, I was like, deviled eggs, I love them too. I love but I was like, how would I make this like a full and complete meal? Yeah, you know? So yeah. I was like, I'll put them on a salad. So, because Cobb salad has, um, 
usually has a lot of like hard boiled eggs yes. or even deviled eggs. So yes. I was like, oh, that'll work. So there's chicken, <gasps> there's bacon, avocado. Oh, I have a dressing that I'll go grab. Oh. Um, deviled eggs. So it'll be really delicious. And we can munch on that while we're answering I'm questions. I'm so excited. Perfect. Do I'm you find that like hard boiled eggs are a very polarizing appetizer? I feel like people either love them or hate them. You mean deviled eggs? What did I say? Hard boiled eggs. Both. <laughs> um, deviled eggs, yeah, I think it's polarizing because people either love the flavor right. or hate that they're unhealthy. Yeah. Oh, are they unhealthy? Well, usually there's a lot of mayo and, and yeah. shit. But but that's all right. You know why? Because I actually have a secret that I developed over the years. Oh. Being from Minnesota, oh. where there's a lot of fattening food yeah. and where there's a lot of grad parties, uh -huh. I've learned because the inside's the most flavorful and the most right. delicious, right? Right. But like if you have like 20 of those or something, you're gonna right. get sick. So, but it's also really strong. So if you kind of scoop out some of that and just uh -huh. have most of the egg white with a little bit, you can still taste it all. Ooh. And then you have mostly just egg whites. And I love that for yeah. us. Yeah. Very cute. Okay, so let me get the dressing. Okay, let me hold your microphone. See, she's already learning. Already. I'm learning. I'm gonna steal a piece of bacon. <gasps> Please do. Literally, you're, this is your time to mm. Do you do ASMR of people chewing? Um, so I have gotten a lot of that, and then I also yeah. So, also, look at this beautiful dressing. Thank you. It's, what is it? Dill. I there's see. There's dill, and then a lot of lemon juice. There's mm. Chardonnay vinegar, oil, <laughs> and um, some lemon juice because she's all beauty. of those. Because, like, you know, lemon juice and vinegar and dill is sometimes used a lot in deviled eggs. So. Honestly, I have to say, I have never had someone, like, cook me a meal. I don't think I've ever had someone, like, sit. Never? I don't, the last time, like, besides Thanksgiving or, like, my mom making me soup from, like, you know, fucking yeah. Campbell's when I'm sick. I don't think I've ever had, let alone serve me. He's serving me right now. Listen, you have not met the correct friends in your <laughs> life. That's why I'm here. This is this is why this show is even a thing because I love to literally serve people food. That do, does it bring you some sort of like joy? I have learned to be honest. Yeah. Because I used to work in restaurants. Right. I've learned that that's not for me because even though I like to cook and I like the adrenaline rush I had from restaurants. Right. I hated. Um, I was behind where no one could see me. I couldn't interact with anyone, mm -hmm. and I was like pushing out like three hundred something oh plates, God. and like it was like thankless. Yeah. Whereas like this. I get to take my time, make the food, Aww. make it look pretty, and then like share time with people. That's so cool. Right? And that's what I really, this is why I love this because also because people are so busy in life. Right. And it's so, like being able to be like, no, this is Slow our time. Down, Let's enjoy sit, food. Eat. Yeah. I love that for yeah. you. Oh, I'm going to throw myself. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I'll, you can watch me eat if you want. It's not going to be attractive, but uh, um, I, I'm obsessed with food, movies, and shows. Yeah. Like, Chef is one of my favorite movies. I also love that Bradley Cooper one. Where yeah, he's burnt. Like, burnt. I was yeah. gonna say, it's like heat or something. Yeah. Um, and I also consider myself a foodie. Oh. I hate that word, kind of, because I don't actually know. It sounds know, cheesy, but. Yeah, and I don't actually know anything about food and like where it comes from. Mm -hmm. Like, I really can't even pinpoint my favorite meals in my life. Yeah. But I spend most of my time thinking about eating out. I think that's, appropriate for foodie because yeah. like you appreciate food and you spend money on it and you enjoy it some so, might also say i have an unhealthy relationship like a, a very emotional relationship with food i have that as well you, right? i was a fat kid so like <sighs> yeah it took me a long time to get it off but i was not still a working on it kid. oh please you look great you i was gonna say you look very european do i i would believe that if you put it's on a watch like, yeah if you put on like a british accent right now could never tell Listen, it would it'd be an embarrassing eat? one. Yes, please, okay. you try. Let's try one together. Okay. Okay. Ready? Un de trois. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> the dill comes in later, doesn't it? The dill does come in later. Oh, this is good. Yeah. I'm pushing through my swollen, fake, <laughs> fucking juvederm lips. Mmm. Wow. Mm. That is really good. I fucking love hard boiled eggs. Deviled eggs. What did you put in that? So that is um, the egg yolks themselves that are cooked, right? Some mayonnaise, um, some Dijon mustard, some hot sauce, and Ooh, then- Ooh, that's what it is, hot sauce. And then I put in the dressing <gasps> I made because a lot of times you also put in vinegar, lemon juice, whatever in there, but I was like, I'm gonna save a step and just- Girl, Yeah. that hot sauce, I'm chewing with my mouth open. I'm so sorry. No, you're Listeners, fine. That hot sauce changes the fucking game. Yeah. Right, because it. it just kind of brightens up a little mm -hmm. bit, and you're like, your mouth what is, is like. What is the word? Brightens up. She just what you do when you hang out with a fucking chef. <laughs> it brightens up the meal. Um, okay, so here, I'll, uh, while you're enjoying your food, mm -hmm. and while I'm enjoying my food, I'm going to I'm get some questions. Mm. So, for those of you who want to talk to the guests or send in questions, you can go to my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube. 
all at Matthew Francis J to send in some questions, and then do I'll it. put them on the screen. But for now, I already have them, so like do it for next week or <laughs> check on the actual We're things. We're busy right now. Um, mm-hmm. Okay, so Cat mm-hmm. Curtis from Facebook, she mm-hmm. says. Um, Oh, and also, I want to try with the questions mm-hmm. to kind of keep them, like, think Speedy. like lightning. Got it. But, of course, go as in-depth no, as you want. go for it. I have to edit a podcast, too, so I know what you mean. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I can give you sound bites, baby. Um, okay, so what are your top three favorite cheeses? Ooh, okay. One, Parmesan, because I recently found out there's not a lot of dairy in it. Mm-hmm. So I didn't know that because I, I try not to eat dairy. So that was a big one for me. Humboldt Fog. <gasps> That's one of my... Wait, we really? T- wait, wait, we, were you um, in Cheese Club? Yes, we talked about that. We were both in Cheese Club at BuzzFeed. Okay, we must have talked about that. Yeah, yeah. Just funky, fresh, yeah. fun. Ashy. You know Ash- oh, great work. You're, you're teaching me a lot today. Um, third, I would love to go with just like... Is burrata a cheese? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, burrata. I'll drop some food knowledge on you. Mm. So burrata is mozzarella cheese, but they stuff like heavy cream in it when they do it, so that's why it leaks out. Oh my god! So that's what that cheese is, and the reason why Parmesan has less dairy is because it's aged, so um, all the bacteria have like lactic acid that eat up all the lactate or all like the lactose. Oh my god! So, it's a science podcast too. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. No wonder I like the most dairy-ish <laughs> cheese and the most non-dairy cheese. Yeah, I love that. And um, I'm glad you said you still love cheese. I was like, oh shit, there's definitely dairy. No, I will eat it if it's if it's meant to. Got it. Got it. I mean, more bacon. I'm chewing it. I have it all you want. Okay. Um, okay. So if you say that I'm gonna eat all of these eggs. That's all right. Okay. Like, honestly, I was like, as I was making, I'm like, I only have eight because I ate two of them while <gasps> I was cooking. You dirty and I was, dog. And How I was could like, you not? Do I need more? Because I like a lot of double eggs. Maybe we so should. So do I. I have a problem. This is good. This now, is a good what, what's your now. record? What's the most you ever had? Oh. Probably a whole fucking plate. Yeah, yeah. At like a Super Bowl party or something yeah. disgusting. Yeah, 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 absolutely. We are kindred spirits. <laughs> um, okay, so this is um, from YouTube. Mm-hmm. And this is very up your alley. Okay. Um, would you rather never drink or never have sex again? Oh my God, why would you fucking do that? I feel like I've been asked this question before and I told them I wouldn't choose. I was like, I refuse to answer. That's powerful. I like that though. But you can n- say that. Uh, no. I feel like I should answer. I don't want to live in a world where I have to choose, uh-huh. but I guess I would choose never drinking again. Yeah. Because at least you have experience with that. and you. Whatever. I've done it, girl. You have a hot, I fucking you have, drink everything under yeah. the sun. And you have a hot boyfriend, so don't miss out on God that. Goddamn yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. You, have, you should enjoy it when you can. Exactly. Thank you for understanding. This is a little bit more of a silly one. Mm, love a silly question. Um, if your belly button was a real button, what would it do if, if you pushed it? I fart. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> It's a fart button. I love how that was like so immediate for you. <laughs> well, as soon as I knew where the question was going, I was like, oh, you push it and it comes out my ass. It's, yeah, a, yeah. it's a fart button. It's like automatic. What would yours be? Um, Like, I get money. Oh, wait, I changed my answer to that. I changed my, Either that or like a donut comes out of my ass Whoa, and I can eat it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah, what did I go with fart? That sounds so stupid no, now. No, that's, that's, I think that's a funnier one. Okay, fine. What's your favorite playlist to smoke weed to? You know what's funny? Everyone thinks I smoke weed because I do so much cannabis content, but I don't actually smoke any weed. Yeah. I'll ingest it and I'll like use CBD rubs and I'll do like oils and stuff, but I don't smoke weed. Mm. But when I was a kid, I smoked a fucking lot of weed and I would put on the Lil Wayne playlist. I was a huge Yeezy fan. Okay. I'm sorry, Lil Weezy fan. I'm also a Yeezy fan. Oh, they see. I'm not you don't know in, the, the rapper. You know, <laughs> I should. Wrong I only audience. like I only like female rappers. If they're guys, Ooh. I'm kind of bored. No, I feel that this was a different time. This was pre like female empowerment. Like yeah. all we had was like little Kim. Gotcha. Yeah. I want to know something kind of sad. Mm-hmm. I've never ever smoked marijuana ever in my life. That's not time. And then, and then I like to drink a lot, but I've never been drunk hmm. because I'm a big guy. I eat a lot. And I have a weird thing where like if I have like more than like two or three glasses of wine, I get full. Mm, off of I the wine. That. And then so I'm just like, like I, uh, oh, I can't have more. But I really, like, and, like, I can do like six tequila shots and still be oh fine. Oh my God, what a talent. Um, but I wish I, I have, had that. I have to, and I hate, I'm cheap, so I'm not going to buy out mm. at places. But eventually I'm going to break it. How old are you? I'm 24. You still have time. I you know. have plenty of time. Yeah, and, no, do, take your heavy drinking slow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll be. I'll probably like be the person that would like try it first, like with a friend in my own apartment. Yeah. Like, alone, oh. Like. Oh, if I go back to smoking weed, it will be absolutely in yeah. the privacy of my own home with like my boyfriend, because in case I need to call nine one one. Be safe when you can, right? Exactly. These eggs are so fucking good. good. The spice of the hot sauce is like <laughs> on the top. I love them. Uh, what was you said that someone sent you a funny one? It was about being mm, the president. Mm-hmm. What was it? 
Someone asked, what would be the first thing I do as president? Yeah. Um, I want to say my answer is quit because I should not be fucking president. <laughs> but I feel like I should I wish feel. everyone had that <laughs> frame of mind who's currently you there. You know, I agree. But if I, like, had to, like, gun to my head, yeah. had to be a president, I would definitely, like fix all the shit that's going on yep. w- down at the border, like unite all and every family and figure that shit out. Then I would definitely do something about the environment and then like fire all the Republicans. Can I do that? I don't know much about politics, but those are my three top orders. I approve. Thank you. Vote for Kelsey. 20. 2020. <laughs> no, like, cause you have to be like, I think you have to be like 35. So okay, like fine. 20, I have to be 35 30. to be president? Mm-hmm. That's like one of the rules. Oh my God. No. Well, that's not far away. It's mm. only seven, uh, seven years, yeah. Maybe you'll change it because it'll be so great. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, so then I kind of let's end on like a more serious one, I guess. Okay, for the record, I'm eating like my fifth egg. I approve of that. Okay. I, that means I feel see it. That makes me feel good. good. I did a good job. I you can did always a make more. Great job. Good. There's only a few amount of times in life you can enjoy my eggs. Oh, so. yeah, fair. I'm almost thirty, so all of my eggs are almost used up. Get it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Uh, okay, so yeah, real a real um, switch of. Topics, I guess. Yeah. But Kelsey, have you ever had to cut off someone you cared about because they were toxic? Oh yeah. And how did you co- how did you cope with losing that person? Oh, what a great question! Yeah. Whoever asked that. This um, is Annalisa from YouTube, and she always sends really nice stuff in. That's great. Yeah. Thank you, Annalisa. Um, I've definitely had to cut out friends in my life, and I've definitely had people cut me out of their lives because when I was twenty-ish years old, I was like a dumb fuck, and I was just a crazy person. And I think that I had to cut someone out recently that was just toxic in the way that like I was kind of holding myself back because I didn't ever want this person to feel bad. Um, Like I was succeeding and I was having a good career and like things were taking off for me and this person just was like dulling my shine. And Mm. I was like, you know what? Excuse me, that's all the eggs coming up. Um, I was in a place where I was like, you know what? I I deserve to enjoy this. I've worked my ass off and this person is like not loving my success. So I, I kind of just like slowly cut off contact with them and I dealt with it in a very not healthy way. I like am very good at cutting people out of my life. I'm very mm. good at like saying you're done and yeah, then never bye. thinking or talking about them again. But recently that person has come back into my life and this was like four or five years later and it was like they came and apologized like hey I know I was a shitty friend and I was like oh my god. And so it made me think maybe I should reach out to people that had cut me out before and say like hey. I know I was a shitty friend back then. So it's a circle of life, baby girls. Yeah, I was going to say, like, you know, it may be, like, cheesy and now it's ruined from Katy Perry, but, like, <laughs> things are never really sure. over, you know? Like, yeah. Like, I've had old, like, crushes, mm. old whatever, and, like, and they, and you, like, you once you leave high school, when mm-hmm. you leave, you're, like, you're never going to see them again. And mm-hmm. then, like, you're like, oh, wow, I actually, like, like met them and they're cool again and, and they're different. Like, yeah. so, like, it's crazy how, like, unless you die, we're all right. here on the planet till, right. like, 80, it's never 90. It's too late. Yeah. Never truly over. Katy Perry. Katy Perry. Thank you, girl. <laughs> so wise. <laughs> it's never really over. I don't know the fucking words. Mm. Cheers with water? Mm. Absolutely. Um, okay. So that was mm. what up. And honestly, that those eggs were fucking amazing. amazing. I wish I ate more salad, but I also don't. I I was I knew that was like a, a gamble, <laughs> but I was like, I'm going to try and make a complete I took meal. a few bites. I appreciate it. Thank you. I will take it. But, um, so I'm going to leave, okay. but the next segment is called Dream Dish. Ooh. So while I'm um, dishing you the food, okay. think of um, a dish, like, as in, like, uh, uh, like something that to reveal, a secret, mm-hmm. that mm. you've never, like, told anyone. You tell okay. us. So it's, it's like you're dishing for me while I'm dishing for you. Okay, okay. And it's okay. not to be, like, scandalous. Just think okay. of, like, think of, like, something that the world should know. Okay. That, that they don't know about. Oh, my God, no pressure. I have to think. Well, you've got time. Okay. And the dinner is the cacio e pepe. Yes! Oh my god, my favorite! I can't believe you made that. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, a secret. Okay. Let me think about a secret. I've got a lot of them. I've got a lot of secrets. Mm. I feel like I always, my go-to one, when people are like, Tell us something you've never told anyone before. I always tell the story about how I spit gum in this girl named Chelsea's hair when I was in summer camp, and I pretended like it was an accident, but it wasn't. But that I've already told that one, so I won't tell that story. But wherever you're at, fucking Chelsea, fuck you, you fucking bitch. You were such a mean little girl to me at summer camp. I was bullied. Can you tell? That's why I have such a boisterous personality. <laughs> that you were bullied? Or that, you bullied? Maybe that's a secret. Go for it. I haven't really talked about that before. I would love-
Doesn't it kind of, like, it either ruins you or builds you. I think it builds you. I think it built or, me. Or, oh, you're right. It can break you, but. It totally me, can. I, think for, I definitely let it break me for a while, but I'm, I think I look back on it and ultimately, like, I'm grateful for the ways that it did affect me and for the ways that I didn't let it affect me. Exactly. So, like, for instance, like, I was teased a lot for how flat-chested I was. I mean, like, um, called a dude. I mean, this was also 20, or, like, the 1990s, so yeah. it's not PC. But, like, I was called a dude. And when we were in science class learning about the health and bodies, like, guys would call me out and, like, be like, well, what happened to Kelsey? Why didn't she get tits? And then I remember a guy would ask me, you know, in the hallway in front of a bunch of popular kids, he would say, if you didn't have feet would you wear socks and I said of course not and he yeah. goes then why do you wear a bra oh my God. <laughs> which looking back on it that's a funny joke yeah, <laughs> I have to say I think I I don't know how you were because you were bullied you probably were more compassionate to understanding people but I yeah. feel like I took my anger out by like also bullying people mm-hmm. and like that was just grade school man and like yeah. middle school and shit was just people fucking being mean to each other i look at high schoolers now and i'm like why are y'all pretending to like each other i know like y'all ain't gonna be friends out in the real world <laughs> like they say like if you're friends with someone for more than 10 years once you turn like 18 or something yeah. like if you're still friends with someone that you were friends with when you were 18 when you're 28 then that's like you're usually that's gonna fine. be yeah a friend with them forever but okay I'm like scraping the egg off of my plate because it's so good. Wait, where's your mic? Sing into it. Oh my god, it looks so creamy. Yes. I am so fucking excited. Good. Okay, so um, let me put a little bit more pepper. (gasps) Beautiful. And then I'll do more on your actual plate too. Yes. Catch you out, eat pepe, baby. Pepe. So when you first, before any of the sauce and noodles goes in, you you cook the butter and you fry the peppercorn. So that's what I did with the first batch. I didn't know that. Yeah, you do that because. Oh my god. Look how cheesy. Oh, oh my god, it smells so fucking good, dude. And this is some good ass parmesan too, aged for twenty four months. Bitch, you went all out on your girl. <laughs> Throw the hair back, indeed. Next next week, Rie's having lobster. Oh, you know, I don't skimp on friends, you know. Yo, this looks like a motherfucking plus. Look at that. A little bit of red chili flake. Holy fucking tit shit. And parsley. I don't even want to eat it. It's so beautiful. Okay. Oh my god. Wait, let me clean this plate. Yeah. Photos will always be on Instagram. And then there'll be full recipe videos on YouTube as well. <gasps> oh my God, you're like a one-stop shop. Listen, you know, the first, like when I first started Dinner Views, I didn't have oh. the money or anything to to do it all. Yeah. I didn't have all this stuff yet. So I didn't have them. People are like, oh, I want to see the food. And I'm yeah. like, me too. <laughs> oh my God, look at you. But growth, baby, growth. Growth. This oh, is amazing. This is, this is the photo I took. <laughs> oh my God, I just came. <laughs> that looks incredible. Okay, wait, so try the food first while it's still warm. It. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. And then we'll talk. Listen, you don't got to tell me twice. <laughs> I didn't even get it all the way in my mouth before I, like, cried. Oh, my God. If you need any more of the toppings or whatever, let me know. Oh, my God. It's so light. How is it so light? Oh, you know what it probably is? It's like, in the past, I've made it with less good cheese. Mm. But, you know, I told you how... Parmesan has, right. um, so when the bacteria eats the lactose, oh it makes lactic acid, which oh. is a little bit acidic, and that's where you're going to get mm, mm, that brightness mm-hmm, from. Mm-hmm. I was like, did you put lemon in here? Because it's so light and just a touch of acid. Yeah. Oh, my God, dude. It's so good. Yay. Oh, my God. Mm, that Parmesan, whatever it is, you mm. fucking fucked me up. Mmm. Mm, this is a perfect food to eat when you just get your lips done. Because mm. you can just shovel it in like fucking mush. Mm. And the consistency of the pasta is perfect. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this is um, bucatini, which I really mm, like. Yes. Yeah, it's like, a you know, kind of a mm. fatter spaghetti. Mm. And I just was like, 
you know, for like presentation wise, I think if you do like the normal spaghetti look, it's like a little it bit looks over, wet. Like a little overdone, and yeah. like you've seen it before, and this is a little bit like, ooh, what's ooh, that? This is plump. Yeah, this is plump. Ooh, plump. Mm. I love it. Yeah. Look, really? at, look at that plump noodle. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this whole goddamn plate. You should, and there's more. Mm. Like, girl, we have a whole like half an hour talk still. Oh my god. Okay, talk to me because. I'm gonna be eating. Yeah. Oh wait. Yeah. So what's your what's your dream dish? So you mm. you kind of may have talked about it while I was away, but if you had to reveal something to the world that they don't know about you or like a cause they should know about. Oh God. Wait. What are you dishing? Okay. Sorry. I'm busy. Mm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Tell me what I'm supposed to say again. But you know what? This is why I like this because mm. I think when people are shoving their faces, mm-hmm. this one is the most honest and the most real, right? Yep. And you can't be like, you can't <laughs> fake being cool. I feel very vulnerable right yeah, now. <laughs> but that's, see, vulnerability leads, mm. leads to the best stuff though. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, but when you are ready, still enjoy the food. Mm, I am, trust me. Um, yeah, what like what kind of secret, like what, oh, what are you my dishing? Secret. Yeah, yeah. Okay, my secret, which we kind of talked about when you were heating up the food, yeah. was that I was like kind of joking about being bullied. And then I was like, you know what? That actually is something that I've never really talked about is how much I was bullied when I was in middle school because I think this personality, also you're gonna have to like look and tell me if I have shit on my mouth because my mouth is so numb. You're good. My lips done. (laughs) Um, I project this image of like this boss bitch, really confident, has her shit together, doesn't take shit from anyone. And I think that that really stemmed from a time in my life where I didn't feel that way, which was, you know, I feel like now it's like, who wasn't bullied in middle school? But Back in the 90s, man, before it was like, I feel like now it's cool to be kind and it was not that way. And I'm sure in certain parts of the country, like in the deep south where I'm from, that it was, it's still not safe for a lot of people to be who they are. And I think, um, yeah, I had a lot of like body image issues, personality image issues. And Mm. that's just something I never have like talked about because... I think I've been able to transform it into something really positive yeah. and beautiful and mental like, health. Uh, yes, uh, absolutely. Yeah. But I think that there's a lot of hurt down way down deep. When I think of like little Kelsey, when I think of young Kelsey, it makes me almost want to cry because it's like, I just feel so sad for that little girl. Yeah. And I think she would be so proud of who I've been able to turn that into. Yeah. What about you? For like for bullying or for like mm. the secret? Both. Oh. <laughs> See, people don't always ask me that, so I don't have... You forget, I'm a host, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Um, What I would say my secret is, is I don't ever let people know, like, when I'm going through hard times. Mm. I'm, I'm like, someone that's, like, a... uh, I'm a pushover mm-hmm. and I'm like a people pleaser. So mm. like if they ask me something, I can have like 50 million things going on and I'll still do it. Yeah, yeah. I'll, and I, and which is great. Good and horrible. And horrible yeah. for my own stuff because then I'm like working twice as hard just yep. to catch up with my own mm-hmm. stuff. Um, and I, what I've, my secret or my dish is that it's really caught up to me lately, you know? Mm. So I'm really, I want to push through the interviews and do a good job with this. But then after that, I am... Fucking breaking, breaking. I'm, t- I'm enjoying, I'm like, gonna sleep. Mm. Um, but Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it seems like what we were kind of talking about off camera was that like, it can catch up really fast. Like yeah. self-care and like self-talk is something every day to be worked on. The relationship you have with your mind is just like the relationship you have with people where you have to nurture it, you have to talk to it every day, you have to speak to it kindly. And if you neglect that relationship, as you would with a friend, they would be like, hey, what the fuck is up? Are you mad at me? Like, what's going on? And I think our our bodies and our minds are that same way where you have to give it that daily, you know, as cheesy as affirmations are, I really do try and start my day out every day with an affirmation and talking to myself and nourishing that relationship. Whenever I hear people say that or see it in interviews, they're like, I, I remember after like watching the Amy Schumer Pretty movie, I was like, mm. I'm gonna do it every day. But then like, I just keep forgetting. And you I have to write it down. I, yeah. Okay. Put write it, on it down. Put a motherfucking post-it note and put it on your bathroom mirror. And when you're brushing your teeth for two minutes, just say that thing over and over again. It looks like I'm putting a dick in my mouth. I'm not. It's a toothbrush. It's a it's an invisible toothbrush. That's smart. Okay. Because mm. I've always wanted to, and I just always forget. Because again, and it can like change. Just... Like some days I'm like, I don't fucking need this. And I'll wipe it off and I have a, a, a dry erase marker and I'll change it. Oh, fun. And I'll just be like, sometimes I'll ask my boyfriend, I'm like, do you see anything I'm not working on? Like, I feel perfect today. And he'll have no problem telling me something <laughs> I need to work on. <laughs> then you know they're a good boyfriend when they're real. When oh, they're yeah. Real. We are honest with each other. That is true. Good. I'm um, still eating this food. Good. Like and honestly, you want more? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Here we go. <laughs> now, I do hate that it does start to congeal. Yeah, well, that's cheese. 
that is cheese. And I'm glad that you're a cheese lover. Yeah, yeah we Fuck used him. to be in the BuzzFeed Cheese Club together. Oh, my God. And I've done a video about how much I love cheese. Yes. I was just in a Try Guys video about cheese. Yes. Ugh. Tell people about Cheese Club because I feel like we oh, yeah. never got the recognition we deserved. <laughs> yeah. Actually, none of the clubs there did. Basically, <laughs> um, almost all the clubs at BuzzFeed are run by one woman, Tiffany Love. <laughs> She's the best. She, like, runs all the clubs because she can actually mm. keep everything together. Mm. Um, mm. And there... Um, so yeah, we have a cheese club where everyone brings um, like a, a cheese, mm -hmm. and they if you're a new person, you have to say what your favorite cheese is, mm -hmm. so like kind of announce yourself to the club. We mm -hmm. both like humbled fog, mm -hmm. um, and then you also can bring other like sides or drinks or mm -hmm. you know wine, wine or whatever. And cheese crackers. And when I was in it, I was working at Tasty, so I had all these leftover stuff. Mm -hmm. So I would just bring like literally. You a, motherfuckers would go hard and make everyone else look bad. <laughs> yeah, like I'd say like three fourths of the table was like from my. Food. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. But I like that. Um, our softball paths did not cross, but you were on oh, softball. Oh, I was on the softball team. Yeah, yep. and then you didn't do it much more, and then no. and then I've been doing it the last three or four seasons. Oh wow! And we just How won a champ. Oh we no won way! Yeah, we won a championship. Oh my god, go us! Yeah. What's our, are we still Buzz Lightning? Or yeah. Whatever? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think the, I think we might change the name to um like basic pitches, something like that. I don't know. We might we might change it soon. But um, that is really fun. Yeah, we have won a championship. Oh my god! I'm a rock in first baseman. I was gonna ask what position you played. Yeah. First baseman's hard, dude. A lot I'm, of pressure every play. I played first baseman since I was like mm. in kindergarten. I rock at it. I'm really You're good. a player. I, I got the stretch down. Oh you god! Know? Yeah. I played softball for 12 years, and then in slow pitch softball and like corporate yeah. softball, the catcher doesn't matter. Yeah. The position doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. And so I figured I'm. I still have the ability to throw down really well, so they tried to put me at third base, but then. I don't know, I quit, I think. Yeah. It was yeah. too hard to keep up with the intramural fucking club. So basically, now we're in like the actual dinner view. Mm. And I just, you know, we'll go more in depth of like, who is Kelsey? Ooh, right? scary. Yeah, yeah, scary. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like, obviously, you're a comedian mm -hmm. and you're incredibly hilarious. Stop, I love you. Are you kidding? <laughs> Are you kidding? You, it's, it's, like, it's like common knowledge at this oh, point. Oh, come on, thank you. You're like, give um, me a boner. Feeding <laughs> <laughs> my ego and my stomach. <laughs> Um, but like what first inspired you to like kind of want to go down that path because sure. it's not easy right like what kind of I have cheese like on my fucking pants it's um, just spreading <laughs> um, I think like I I talk about this like how I got really good at drinking is the same way I kind of got good at comedy is that I was never like the hot girl in school and so I became really good at making jokes and making mm. people laugh and because I wasn't the one anyone had that they wanted to have sex with, I became the one that they all wanted to play beer pong with. So I was like the number one beer pong player, the number one flip cup, the number one fucking everything. And like, it didn't matter if a guy was like hitting on a girl when it came time to play, they would drop her and spend like two hours with me. Cause and, like fun. Yeah, cause I was fun and I would like crack jokes and I was kind of goofy looking. Like I wasn't again, like your standard hot girl. Yeah. And so I think it definitely came out of uh, fear and uh, a defense and like survival mechanism. Yeah. But as I've gotten older, I feel like I've gotten less funny because, and I, I talk about this kind of with a lot of people in comedy, is that there's cheese on the microphone. <laughs> um, that's how like disgusting I've been the last 15 minutes eating this. Um, I feel like there was a point in time where like, you know, women were really getting a lot of uh, like recognition in comedy and people yeah. were really like rewarding women for being so brave to do comedy and with that you got a lot of like raw honesty about comedy with women and you got people like Amy Schumer and yeah. Tina Fey mm -hmm. and it was cute to just be funny and honest and real and raw almost mm -hmm. and I feel like now we've seen this kind of switch into comedy also being important in activism. I was gonna say, yeah. And it's like political. not cute to be like a mess anymore and like getting on stage and talking about like blowing 10 guys in right. a weekend. It's like, okay, but the earth is melting. Right. Or like Trump's in office, like what about that? And so mm. it's definitely kind of become, again, like I said, I don't feel as funny because I feel like I'm, I'm sort of learning now and mm. it's hard to be funny and PC at the same time and like I've learned that there are things that I used to joke about that are like just aren't funny anymore right. or were like a defense mechanism or whatever so I don't know where I'm going with this answer but that's the answer okay <laughs> great because I feel like yeah almost like comedy now it, like it has to have like a mission it has a, it has a yes, goal because I do think the best way to like have a point sink in is mm -hmm. through comedy yes but now it's like you have to always make a point yeah and it's a weird time where people like they want relief from yeah. the news cycle yeah. and the constant like Twitter stream of politics and hate that's going on. So like 
one part of me is like, yes, people still totally want that like dumbass Adam Sandler comedy yeah. where they don't have to think about anything and just laugh at like fart jokes, which I think are hilarious. But then there's this other part where, yeah, they want to find meaning in their their downtime, if you will. Yeah. Like even I find myself being like, oh, if I'm gonna watch something, I want to watch something that's like zeitgeisty and now and of the times and something that I can go like talk about at the water cooler, right? Yeah. Like I can't just watch Bob's Burgers because right. I like it. I have yeah. to watch like fucking Chernobyl and be like discard. I guess, but you know, also like I think what's great about you is I think you're one of those people that like. Yeah, of course. Is what, this is, also like a compliment show because I'm here for it. <laughs> well, I love complimenting people, so it's, it's like natural. I like your hair. Oh. I like your shirt. I love your food. I just like all thank those you. other things, but I love your food. Thank you, thank you. Um, but one thing I think that's great about you is like, I feel like, I mean, I correct me if I'm wrong, but you're someone that I feel like can't help but be themselves. Mm, yes. And that's why <laughs> and that's why you're funny. And I mm. think like that's why you have done well and you'll keep doing well thank because you. like I think the moment you try to do yes. any of those things, like try to be more PC mm -hmm. when like mm -hmm. you know of course you want to learn but I don't know anything though. right it's like, so it's like but mm -hmm. it, you being honest about yeah. that makes people be like oh I relate with her so yeah. let us learn together and it's okay to fuck up and yeah. be flawed and I think like at the end of the day we don't fucking know it all and yeah. I think like white women specifically right now are in like a time where they're the, the their biggest fear is being called racist. Right. And so I feel like they're doing anything possible to be like, look, I retweet black people, therefore I am not racist. And yeah. like, look, I, you know, Instagram this body positivity thing. So yeah. like, I support black women and like, yeah. we get it. Yeah. Like, you, And how sad if being called racist is, is your biggest fear? That's the thing. It's like, they're more afraid of being called racist than actually caring about black lives. Yeah. And so I yeah. think there's like a weird, there's a weird flaw in that like wokeness is that yeah. you need you have to also accept your responsibility of like fucking up and learning and I think everyone need, uh, most white women need to be knocked down a, a few pegs inclu myself included yeah. like I've done dumb ass shit <laughs> yeah and that's the one thing like I remember like kind of growing up like I like to pretend I had everything kind of going mm. I was doing it right and these last seven months where like my life has kind of been all over mm, the place mm -hmm. I've really learned like shit I literally know nothing yeah. I'm like learning like new stuff new stuff every day yeah. and, and like I think I've never felt more confident in mm. myself because I feel like I'm not um, mm. pretending anymore. Oh, that's right? beautiful. Right? That's fucking beautiful. Yeah. So I just think, I think like that's what I'm trying to go forward with with my life yeah, is to be like, absolutely. Nah, I'm, I'm trying. Well, you know, g coming off of what we did for a living was very rigorous and planned and we had schedules and deadlines yeah. and it was like very fulfilling, fulfilling creatively to a certain degree. And I feel like when all that is either taken away from you or you choose that for yourself to be to be disconnected with that, it's gonna be a fucking cosmic shift, whether you yeah. like it or not. Like yeah. it, it, inherently everything is gonna change for you. Yeah, and yeah. like finding what truly makes you happy and like what life is really about and yeah. like what, and, and that can be views and being on camera. Like that's totally valid. Yeah. I don't think that's a wrong thing to want, yeah. but I think just discovering that there is other things out there that are worth finding value and is is worth exploring, whatever that is. Yeah, like I know for me personally, like I I learned like so much about yeah. Like I told you a little bit maybe off camera or not, mm -hmm. but like yeah, like I know like restaurants aren't for me anymore. Mm -hmm. I went back and tried a few and was like, eh, nope. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've learned like because I I worked in them for like four ish wow. years and I liked it when I did it because I was young. Yeah. And I had something to prove, right? right. But I forgot about all like the homophobia, I forgot about mm. the abuse, and mm. I forgot because I went and saw a few places that, just like production, it's almost always chaos. Yeah. But it's different because there's fire and knives and stuff. So like <laughs> I, I I forgot that every day I'd go into work and I was scared. Oh and I, God. I forgot that feeling, and yeah. then I did a few stages and I was like, oh like why go through that for the little yeah. money when I can still make food that I care about mm -hmm. and make better connections mm -hmm. doing my own thing. I don't have to prove anything anymore. I was just going to say, it's yeah. not about like proving it to someone as much yeah. as like proving to yourself that there's like something more to live for and, and find fire and wake yeah. up for and passion for. And I yeah. think that like that can get lost in age and in change and in job, you know, here or there. Needing money. Money is Money's, a big fucking thing. Yeah. The things I have done for a little bit of coin, girl. Whew, you don't have to tell me twice, yeah. but. Oh, the thing about like, our like PC culture is like people like cancel, you mm, know? Cancel and, like, culture. Yeah, like when you mess up, problem. I think we just have to realize everyone, we're, we're gonna have a president one day beyond just Trump Ugh. who has like. Unless a, we all die soon. Who actually has like a nude photo out and like right. people are gonna have like real things in their life mm. it's, everything's documented now like, i think yeah. we have to stop like stop being like you're over you know forever what? i heard a comedian and i can't remember his name right now who said 
you're not allowed to cancel people unless you will put your entire group text messages on Twitter for the world to look at. And I was like, damn, because you know what? Everyone has a page they don't read out loud. Yeah. Everyone has something in their yeah. fucking closets. Their history, their mm-hmm. internet history. There's so many things, you know? Yeah. Wow, that was deep. Good yeah. job. I like to go deep here. You fucking got there, girl. I think when you feed people, mm. you, well, we don't have booze this time, but... Um, <laughs> I don't need it. But... Um, but yeah, I think like that's where deep conversations come from, and that's why I love doing and this. And that's why cooking, I say that all the time. It's like you want to get to know someone, you fucking sit down and have a meal with them. You want to yeah. get someone to disarm themselves. Don't go out for drinks or coffee. Like, fucking sit and get gross with fucking pasta. Yeah, <sighs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> deep throating cheese. That's what just <laughs> happened here. Um, wow. Okay, Beautiful. so this is kind of in the th- same vein, but like, yeah. I'm curious to know for you, like, of, because I know you're really passionate about like women's rights, mm-hmm. women's issues. Mm-hmm. Um, what is the one thing that pisses you off the most right now? Oof. And you kind of maybe mentioned something, but I'm thinking more of like on the opposing side. Like what thing that like um, the red side of the aisle <laughs> sure. is like driving you crazy? Or what like what what could you want to change? Would you think? I mean, I've been reading something that I read today about the way we police women's bodies and like specifically women of color's bodies is still so crazy and I do it too like I'm Mm. not guiltless of this um internalized body shaming I think of women it's something I'm definitely working on but I think like we still over sexualize women and we're still put like holding a standard of beauty that little girls are looking up to and I think some women are doing an incredible job of being body positive and I don't think that body positivity means being healthy yeah. I think that those two can get conflated. I think body positivity is loving yourself no matter what circumstance you're in. So right, like, yeah. If you're like for now, like no matter what, yeah. even if you're not where you want to be or yeah. if you're happy or you've lost your way, like yes. this is what I have now, yes. deal with it. Like fucking deep throating my, I have my own hair in my pasta. Um, like <laughs> deep throating fucking cheese. Like right now, I could be like, I fucking hate myself. I'm going to go home and like, ugh, and like feel a certain way. Or I could be like, Wow, I had an amazing conversation with Matthew and I had such a fun fucking time. And how lucky am I that someone like put their heart and soul into something? And like I'm trying to lead with that thought. Yeah. But I'm not I'm not preaching to the choir. Like I'm not following my own words yeah. at all times. I think it like I said, it's something that we have to constantly work with and like check in with how we are and I I still do this. Like I will judge someone based on their appearance, like mm. just a, a knee jerk reaction because that's I have a lot of unlearning to do. That's yeah. like how media has made my mind think yeah. and you know I think there are women like um, Jamila Jaleel yeah. who are oh doing do you watch The Good Place? I do I haven't watched recently and I heard it's in its last season or something or like are they filming the last season but it's like coming yeah, yeah coming, it's to, coming an to an end soon. but I think even like She's she great. you know is a former you know I'm doing air quotes right now she will call herself a former fat kid right and now that she is what media would deem acceptably you know size yeah. people are now giving her shit for trying to speak for larger women. Like, yeah. there is no correct, no one win. can be right, no one yeah. can win. And I think instead of, like, trying to constantly check each other, we still have an opposing force that we're working at. Yeah. It's like, where are we putting our energy? Yeah, we're infighting, which isn't yes. helpful. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. like yelling at the fucking mirror yeah. a little bit. Um, I hope that answered your question. It totally okay. did. <laughs> and, then, and then also, this is also kind of interesting, um, so we talk about like physical appearances, and mm. you, I know you like you love talking about sex too. Oh, I sure have. Have you ever you. been? So this might just be me because different because you have a hot boyfriend. But um, <laughs> thank you. I'm gonna tell him you said that. You can uh, borrow him anytime. Oh, <laughs> uh, but have you? I found mostly like, the hot guys I've been with mm. are mostly duds in bed. Mm, like I believe it. And then some of the people I'm like. Just for this tonight, be- I'm like, whoa! <laughs> well, you know that goes back to like they didn't have to try. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I believe that to be true, only because I feel like when you put the pressure on a quote-unquote hot guy to perform, right, right, right. it's like they almost have the double whammy of like I'm hot and I have to dick her down good mm-hmm. or dick them down good or dick them down good. Yeah, yeah. Like I just don't think anyone knows what the fuck they're actually doing. Yeah, yeah. And I've heard women who will say like they felt their strongest in bed when they felt their most insecure in other aspects of oh, their life wow. because it really just was like a place to um, gain power mm. and so I think like we all have our ups and downs yeah. in bed but it, I, I like I like sex and yeah. I like all bodies all bodies yeah, yeah. are, are yeah. pleasurable and deserve pleasure and blah 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 you know because I like for at least for me it's always like a, a fun surprise yeah. when, when it's not what I expect I'm just like oh yeah okay, it's like you're expecting a Twix and you got a Milky Way and you're yeah. like I'm not mad at it yeah, it wasn't yeah. what I was expecting but I'm still a fucking dessert yeah <laughs> still a treat 
when it comes to um because you also love mental health stuff i sure do yeah so like i know because also you have like, you have, like um an injury Chronic with your face pain, right yeah. yeah so like how like when did like mental health issues for you start and like mm. when did that turn from like an internal thing mm. for you to how do I help other people? Sure. I'm I'm so glad you also brought up the chronic pain thing yeah. because I don't feel like a lot of people realize how much chronic pain ties into mental health. Like we talk mm. a lot about the physical aspect of it, but we don't talk about like what being in pain every single day will do to your mental health too. Oh and you know, I was someone who experienced mental health issues long before I dealt with my chronic pain. So I knew what it was like to have a panic attack. You know, I'm doing air quotes again, a lot of air quotes <laughs> on this podcast, out of the blue yeah. and not knowing what it is. And I also know what it's like to have a panic attack because you're thinking about your pain in a forever sense. And, you know, how could you possibly live like this? And that becomes overwhelming. I know yeah. both sides. Yeah. And I know, like, someday I could be having a great mental health day and a horrible pain day. And not to let those two conflict can be really um, time-fucking-consuming yeah. and, and, and m mentally consuming. And, you know... I'm someone who like selfishly talks about mental health. Like I didn't do, I didn't go into this talking about mental health being like, I want to help other people. It was like, right. no, I want to help myself. Yeah, yeah. Help like, me, please. Help me because yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no other fucking choice. I feel like I've goddamn done everything internally that I possibly could. So it definitely came as like a selfish move. Like I need to talk about this because if I don't, I'll fucking explode. But again, that's honest and that's relatable. I guess, but yeah. it definitely, it, I always call myself like an accidental advocate okay. because I d definitely didn't mean to and mm. I'm so grateful that people have been so accepting to allow this to be part of my job mm. but it was definitely a selfish move how I got into it. I feel like we have a responsibility in a little a, a bit of a way because I have opened this door to be like the person who's like here's what's happening in my yeah. life and there's definitely parts of me I still keep secret and like things I don't talk about publicly because like I do sometimes need to hold some things, things private. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, or like I always fear about being a fucking bummer. Like, why can't I just be happy today? And yeah. like, do I really need to bring the whole group chat down yeah. just because I'm having a shit day? But it, it's really learning about like management mm. for me and knowing that I will come out of those bad days and knowing like taking it day by day and trying not to think of it on like too much of a macro level. Cause if you do, you'll go fucking crazy. If you have to like narrow it down to like the types of messages people oh give the most to you, like what would you, like Mental what categories? Mental health and okay. chronic pain. Yeah. Mental health, chronic pain and bisexuality, I would say. Like okay. I identify as bisexual and I think just seeing anyone out there in media that is out and proud in, in the yeah. bisexual world is pretty rare still. And so definitely those are like my top three messages which is crazy because if you would have told me that 10 years ago i would have been like yeah fucking right i told the world what <laughs> yeah i'd be like you're crazy show yeah. me time machine kelsey well, the one that makes me really happy at least for mine is because i have a lisp right mm. and growing up i was very very self-conscious about it and i still wow. am and i've been told multiple times that i didn't get certain things because i have a lisp <gasps> Buzzfeed. no yeah. but anyway but i've had people message me being like I have a lisp and it's really cool that like you don't you kind of do it all out and yeah. proud and you aren't scared about it and that's made me feel really good because that's how I kind of looked at like Hannah Hart mm. and yep. um and Tyler Oakley like yeah. they are both have lisp and they're mm -hmm. just like on it and you kind of do too and I, I did I was gonna say growing up I had a lisp yeah and and uh that to me is like I love it because it's like you know what really matters is that you're saying mm -hmm. something important and you know what mm -hmm. like I didn't even notice it until you just said something it might be because like I come from that world yeah. but like I think that is such a personality trait. Like yeah. when mm. I think of you, I think of your voice and the way you look and your presence and like your oh. hair <laughs> and like, I couldn't imagine you without it. Yeah. And I don't think I want to. Right, because I've, I've been to like speech things to try mm -hmm. and fix it. Um, and and she, one time I went to one and she told me that my speaking was like elemental, as in like, like, like childlike. Also like I've done a few like pride videos for like, we, the first like food video we did for pride was like I did a Chipino dish mm. and talked about like my kind of coming yeah. out story. And at the time people were like, like, oh, why are we talking about gay stuff and it's food, right? But I'm like, hello, this whole story yeah. and it's Pride Month, yeah, whatever. Yeah. But yeah, same thing, messages from that. And so, and then like, like people like ask about culinary school all the time. Yeah. So yeah, it's That's like- That's so cool because culinary school is fucking hard and badass. And you yeah. have to be a specific type of personality to be able to make it through that. So yeah. I don't think a lot of people know that. Yeah, and my advice is always is like, only go if you for sure want to <laughs> stay in the industry for a long yeah. time. And I also say, because it's really expensive too. But I tell people like, don't go into debt 
for culinary school sure. just because like but I have like friends who went to school and like, they worked their ass off to pay for mm-hmm. part of it but they, mm. they graduated and now they have like a job in a restaurant that doesn't pay that much and they have like hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars in debt oh my god I'm like oh my not worth so it so it's like only go if you know like I knew for sure like even though I'm not in restaurants anymore like, I know I'm working in food so I knew right. this and it was worth it yeah and, and I think with like YouTube and I truly believe like college will be obsolete in like 10 yeah. years yeah. because you're going to go to school online and you're going to find your trade like early and early on in yeah. life the way like jobs may or may not be available to humans like as we modernize robots and shit it's like I think people are going to decide earlier and earlier what they want to do and yeah I just think like college is going to become obsolete and I don't think people should go that's my hot tip hot yeah. take not popular opinion but just saying I think like yeah only is it only if you know for sure it won't ruin your life which is very <laughs> very Slim. No pressure, but yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, what are you working on now that you're really, really excited about? And like, yeah. what are you kind of hoping for oh, as like, the years that. go on? So the second season of our e-show, Dating No Filter, starts August 9th, I think, or 7th, or 17th. Honestly, I don't fucking know. Your co-host it's, is cute. It, Zach, you would love him. You guys would get along so great. He's the best. It comes out in August, so watch that. And the thing I'm most excited about, honestly, is I've been doing a shit ton of writing. Ooh. And, like, I feel like that wasn't something I really did when I was working on the internet because you don't have fucking time and you don't have, um, like, praise to do that sort of thing. And it was something I did growing up and in college, well, you know, the college that I dropped out of, three of them, (laughs) uh, to be exact. But I'm really excited to just, like, start storytelling again in, like, whatever capacity that may be. And, you know, like, the podcast I love doing. It's not work to me. Like... I love editing it. I love hearing my own voice. Like, I love each week getting to talk to someone new and, like, learning. And so if I could, like, point any, anything to anyone, it would be, like, to go listen to that because it just yeah. gives me so much joy. It's so much fun. I my like, I watch, like, I think I, almost all of them I've oh listened God, to or watched. But my favorite one is gem. Um, one with you and Kate. Uh, I, I love I love I love adult shit. So like oh that was great. Oh my god, that makes my heart so warm. Yeah, yeah so Kate's great. Your guys' dynamic is really fun. I'm I'm gonna have her back for sure because yeah. she's just too funny. Um, but I also love about podcasts is like I feel like it's a really great way, especially because if you own your own, right? Right. Yeah. So like you can do it till you die. Like I mean yeah. I don't know if they'll still be around, but like so. and what's nice is this is mine, so it doesn't really matter how it's really Goddamn doing. Goddamn right. <laughs> I'm proud of it, and I can do yeah. it till I'm like 80. Yeah. I can be. I'll be like in my old chair, like yeah. given like you know TV dinners. Yes. You're like I can't cook anymore, but I can still talk. Yeah. I don't know why I give you a weird accent. I'm sorry. I'll take it. This is me like having conversations mm-hmm. with people over good that. food, so I can do that till I and die. And you're a great host and a great conversationalist, and I could uh. fucking talk to you forever. But yeah, so I mean, that's kind of most of the dinner view. I have to go get our dessert. Oh, I'm so excited to see what you made. And I'm then we'll scared. and then we'll it. move into just kind of like the closing stuff. Yay! Cacciao e pepe, an Italian dish. I don't know if any of this is true. Uh, made humbly. Oh my fucking fluffinutters! <gasps> okay, so so when I asked Kelsey, I was like, hey, like you know, what kind oh. of like what kind of what's your, what's your dream dinner? She sent me a few options, and for the desserts, it was like. The um, fluffer nutters, which is this, <gasps> like nerds rope and cinnamon rolls, <laughs> and and I was like, I was like, oh, like cinnamon rolls, that'd be the most homemade thing I can make. I'll do that because I thought uh, fluffer nutters were nutter butters with like a cookie that no. was like packaged. So I was like, oh, I can't like just buy that for her. Um, but then I looked online. I'm like, oh, I've never even tasted that. You so never I'm- had a. Fl- this is your first time. This is a taste that- of a fr- people try fluffer nutters for the first time. That's why I was like, I have oh to God. make that. Okay. And it was simple, so I was like, good. <laughs> can I tell you this? Yeah was a treat I had growing up summers in Florida uh-huh. going to a water park okay you would pack your lunch because the water park food was so expensive and so we would make like fucking 15 fluff and nutters wow. for like four kids and we would chop them up and like this right here is like my fucking childhood it's full of sugar bread peanut butter and then whatever marshmallow fluff is and how they keep it that consistency in a can in a jar i don't know it's all magical science i don't want to know but this i'm so excited for you to try this now when you had them usually were they toasted or were they no i've never had them toasted okay so this is like i've seen both and i was like i'm gonna maybe trick her yeah okay oh my god okay you ready yeah Mm. Mm. whoa Oh, they're like so sweet, but like like you get like the consistencies are so good. And honestly, the the crunch on the outside is really nice. Right? I really like it toasted. Oh. I think this was the way it was always meant to be. Mm. That's like a grilled cheese, just butter and then. I was gonna ask, what did you butter the edges, oh. mm-hmm. dude? And it takes a while to eat because it's, it's everything. Sticky. It's so sticky. 
So like you don't get full too fast because mm. <laughs> you have to take your time. Mm. Damn. Yeah, you need water to drink this, huh? <laughs> if you run out, let me know. Oh, no, I'm good. Mm. Oh my god, this is bringing me back. Where's like fluff anymore? Um, in the baking a, room? Uh, yeah, I don't. I do Instacart because I don't have time to go grocery shopping. Goddamn boss over here. Listen, time literally is my money. Um, oh wow. But yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I think they put it in the baking aisle. I would say that. <gasps> Look at that. Yum. Honestly, fluff by itself, even. Yeah, it's so sweet and nice. Yeah, I wouldn't even call this marshmallow fluff. I would call it something different, but I don't know what. I'm not a chef. Don't ask me. <laughs> End things that we do always on this show. Mm -hmm. So I have a dinner views guest book. Aww, See how it's so full of cute. Food. It's full of food all over it. Let me add and some stickiness to it. Basically, I'll have you do it at the oh, end. Oh, look at all of our friends! So everyone, it's like I got Joy, all these. Joy, Salam, so, Kevin, Curly, Nikki, yeah. yes, Keanu, Maya, Alex. Oh my God, great! Yeah. So basically, what they do is everyone. Um, I write down how many they got for their score, right? Nineteen. That's me. Uh, and then they ask a question for the next guest. Mm. When we're done here, you'll write a question for our next person. Who's the next one? Rie. Oh, great. Love her. Um, okay. <laughs> I feel like she comes off as very, like, put together, so I'm going to ask her a really raunchy question. I, oh, my God. <laughs> That's going to be funny. Um, also, what's funny about Rie is, like, I always want to impress her. I've oh, always, yeah. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm always on, like, does she love me? Is, I'd be I, shitting my pants. Yeah, yeah. To cook for her? Shit. Yes. Yes, exactly. Wow, you're really going balls deep. Good for you. Um, okay, but Alex's question for you is, uh, Alex. what is your go-to party story? Something that always gets a laugh. Oh my god, great question. Okay, it's a story that does well at parties if this subject comes up. Oh. So I've been at parties before where someone will be like, who took a shit in the bathroom? And I'll be like, it's the phantom pooper. And they'll be like, what's the phantom pooper? And I would tell them the story about how my family, for years, my, I have 52 first cousins. So our family reunions are How is that same. possible? My mom's like one of 10, my dad's one of four. And they've all been remarried and they all have too many fucking kids. And Got I don't it. know all of them. And they always show up at our house every Thanksgiving. And I'm like, who the fuck are you? And how am I related to you? But so our Thanksgivings are like batshit crazy. They're literally like tiny music festivals where it's like you have a tent and, and food. And then over here is like a show and over yeah. here is this. And so for years, our family had a phantom pooper where someone in the family would go into someone's bathroom and take a shit either like on the side of the toilet or on the seat oh. of the toilet or like let it being hanging out of the toilet. Ew. And then someone else would like stumble upon it and it would be this big moment where we'd be like, the phantom pooper's here! And like, we still don't know who it is to this day even though I Whoa. have my suspicions. Who? My cousin Blake. Ah, it's just how like old? our age. Oh, interesting. No, okay. no, he's maybe a little older. He's maybe in his early 30s. Okay. But I have a theory that it's him because I just have like made timelines every year. But... <laughs> The point is... It's a whole conspiracy. Is, there's a whole conspiracy theory about, like, people following each other out of the bathroom. And it's, like, a big game that all of us play. So, the Phantom Pooper story. That would be my party story. That's great. It's gross. Very revealing. But, hey, it me. If, like, a seven-year-old Kelsey <gasps> was here eating this dinner... Oh, my God. What would, A, she think of the food? Oh, my God. And, B, uh, what would you, like, give her advice about? Oh, my God. I love that question. Thank you. She would be shitting her pants over all of this. She would be so excited because fluff and nutters are definitely her favorite food right now. I don't think she's ever had cacio e pepe, but her other favorite food is spaghetti with butter and salt. So I think Very she similar. would love cacio e yep. pepe. Yep. I don't think she would eat salad because she's never liked salad, but yep. she fucking goes ham on deviled eggs. So she'd so, pick them as normal. Oh my God, she would pick them as normal. Like what I did. Basically yep. how I did. She'd be picking apart the fluff and nutters. She would have a fucking ball and she would love you. My advice to her would be... You're gonna be okay, kid. <laughs> You're gonna be okay. Yeah. Just keep holding on. Stay. Because you'll you'll make it through. You'll figure it out eventually. And keep eating. Enjoy food. Enjoy food. When you're on your deathbed, think people are really gonna be like, oh, I really like regret that those no. fries I had. No. Never. They're you gonna know? be like, I regret sleeping with like Sharon's husband. Not like, <laughs> I wish I didn't eat that fourth fluff and nut. Right. Or fucking deep throat that parmesan. <laughs> okay, and then is there anything else that we forgot to talk about that you wanted to talk about or anything? No, I love you. Amazing. Well, <laughs> um, basically what we're gonna do is once mm -hmm. we do kind of close everything out we're gonna just gonna keep chatting and talking yes. and finishing actual food because yes. when you actually film and talk you can't yeah, eat everything eat everything um but yeah so this has been kelsey dara Thank at you. kelsey dara oh, on instagram yes, all the things follow on everything mm -hmm. and um stay tuned for next week and if you want to subscribe yes please subscribe i never <laughs> asked to do I, I know i always have to 
You're good. Just say it. I'm a bad. Uh, Five stars on iTunes. Yes. If you are listening, I'm on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Podcasts. Yes, queen. Uh, rate them all. Yep, five stars. And if you don't have five stars, then don't fucking say anything. Yeah, <laughs> and give me a nice compliment, please. I yeah. will read them and I will be yeah. sad. Yeah, yeah, be happy. And then, yeah, please subscribe to the YouTube so mm-hmm. you can watch us stuff our faces and um, uh, watch the recipe videos actually being made so you can see the food, make it mm, at home. And it's gorge. Um, and uh, yeah, there'll be way more stuff coming in the future. So thanks for thanks, having me. Thanks, this Kelsey. has been so fun. What yeah. a great podcast! I think I got marshmallow full from you. Listen, I'll take sorry, it. Sorry, not sorry. It just makes me, it just makes me more sweet. <laughs> more delicious. So. Mm. Yay! And then we'll talk about more stuff off camera. Ooh, secrets! Love it. What a fun podcast.